Good evening, everyone, and welcome. Tonight, as you can see, we have a very special guest by the name of Emily Murphy. This driven young woman led a group of women in the person's case, which fought for women to be people under the Constitution. So tell us, Miss Emily Murphy, what would you say about Les Filles de Bois, or the King's Daughters, who were sent to New France at the time to marry and repopulate? Thanks, Barbara. Well, to be frank, I'm utterly disgusted. It just shows how long ago this gender inequality issue goes back. In my eyes, the Fille de Bois were basically like French, were like prostitutes sponsored by the, by the government. These women were vulnerable because of how poor they were and were treated like objects being taken by men. However, from a French male perspective, I guess it makes sense that the government would do this just because of the drastic difference in the male to female ratio in New France at the time. And even so, the women who were there were indentured servants and nuns. They weren't exactly single and ready to mingle, if you know what I mean. Oh, say no more, M. It sounds like you really understand perspective. From a woman's perspective at this point in history, it seems disrespectful and, well, disgusting. But, after seeing the perspective of the French, you can kind of see how it was necessary in populating Canada. Have you ever considered this from a British or Aboriginal point of view? Well, yes, as a matter of fact, I have, Barbara. However, both the British and the Aboriginal people weren't really involved in French Canada at the time, but the British would have probably taken the stance of the French if they were in that position just because they were typically more concerned with colonization and claiming territory by growing a population rather than the feelings of individual minorities. The Aboriginals would probably have sided with me and women on this one just because they understand what it's like to be a repressed minority. Just like the women, they were controlled and moved around by French and British dominating men. Great. Wow. Sounds like you've thought a lot about that one. Now, if you could take a trip to the future, perhaps 2011, what advice would you give the government then? Hmm. Um, I would make sure to tell them to look out for the women. Women contribute just as much to society as men do and deserve to be recognized as equals. In 2011, women are only being paid three-fourths of what men, men are being paid annually. Me and my five ladies from Alberta did not work this hard to receive false hope. The government needs to take act needs to take constant action and implement policies that treat men and women equally. Thanks, Ms. Murphy. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have today, but stay tuned, because after the break, we will be interviewing Mayor Gray on the Winnipeg General Strike. Good evening, and see you later.